Hello, this is Tyler. I just wanted to make a quick update before the video begins uh, regarding our podcast episode this week. We will not be uploading one this week. It is Memorial Day weekend. Everyone needs a break, ourselves included. I'm going away. Joe is going away. So it's just not really going to work out. However, the following week, Saturday, look forward to episode 11. I know I am. I'll see you guys then. Hello and welcome to the cesspool. And today we're going to be continuing uh, Super Mario Sunshine. We're... In the last episode, uh, what happened? Oh yeah, Mario became a convicted felon. Uh, there was a mistrial. Yeah, he, canonically, he's a felon. He like likes prison. to <laughs> rob people and kill them and drown them with water. And I think technically, Peach must be a practicing lawyer, right? Uh, Peach, Peach practices. I don't law. know actually. I mean, because <laughs> maybe either that or she's impersonating a lawyer. Maybe that's why she's also stuck on this island because she she was impersonating a, a lawyer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. And like, and that's, is that why her brought. is that why her objection didn't go through with the judge because he realized that she was a, whatever. Yeah, they're like, yeah, you you're not licensed to say that. Shut yeah. up. It's like why why are you even at the defense the defense attorney's table? But that you're not you're not licensed to practice. She's like, well, yeah. I I I uh, I need. You know what? Cause like you never see these these you know fat and big nosed characters like anywhere in Mario, right? Right. So are they? Re is this really a canon thing? Or is oh, this it is. All no, no, no. These, these guys movie? appear in other Mario games. They do. Oh, like the the fat uh, big nosed people. Yeah. They're in a couple. Really? They're in a couple different uh, Mario Galaxy levels. I know for a fact. Wait, that's crazy! I didn't know that. Yeah, no, this game is canon. <laughs> um, Dang it. What do I want to do? Oh, I'm going up there, right. So, this particular level is an introduction to a type of level that we will see several times throughout the game uh, in all the different areas of the island. And they will all... They are considered by the majority of the player <laughs> base to be the most painful levels in the game. I always tend to disagree with this. I don't know why I'm very good at these levels. But it's all uh, about... Okay, how am I doing that? <laughs> what? How am I sliding on one hand? So I'm just not... Okay. It's because Mario's... Mario How do I is leave? Can I leave? Oh, there we go. Just gonna zoom up there. There we're going in. Dude, I gotta... You gotta love those, like, hand-drawn, like, cardboard-like stuff. I don't oh my me. god, he just floated and just stole your stuff, man. Yeah, he just stole our stuff, and now we have to play a obstacle course in space. This is actually a precursor to Mario Galaxy. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it is. Actually, a lot of these levels are repurposed in Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, because like, there's a lot of blocky like platforms in... Uh... Yeah, this is like as traditional... Oh my god. This game's oh my controls god. are really... Oh, I'm gonna, I, 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 I'm, I will die a lot on these because the thing is, this game, the controls are literally designed for Flood. So when you don't have it, the, the controls get kind of messed up. Uh, so, like, the physics get kind of screwed. Yeah, because it's like the, the it's, main the game that they just... The game is legitimately not designed for you to do this, but the, the uh, developers were like, yeah, this is cool, this is fun, everyone likes this. Also, That's the perspective epic. of these levels sucks. <laughs> it really looks like it really does look like Mario Galaxy's precursor. Like you can tell. Oh there's yeah, there's a lot of things they use. Yeah, these levels cool. are one hundred percent. There's some of them that are one to one. What do you mean one to one? Like one like to one exactly? recreations. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Not this Mario, one, uh, Nintendo's lazy though, but yeah. Look how bad the one-up looks. Like, that I will say, that does not look good. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why what? it looks like that. I really don't. But it does. That's a yikes. And that's it. That's first bloodless level. They get way longer, way harder, and way more freaking full of ridiculous crap. But this one, not too bad. Only died once. <laughs> Can't wait for the, the zero death meme. Oh yeah, the zero deaths. I've never died. died. I didn't die. That was in space. That yeah. wasn't even me. This is me. Yeah. New exactly. life, new me. Was... I meant what? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going back in. 
Yeah, if you guys think uh, PewDiePie's cringe, then you're cringe. Shut up. I like him. Bianco Hills, Red Coins of the Windmill Village. Oh boy. Why is it the levels. same thing, dude? It's the same. Is it like the same level, just repurposed? Yeah, this is how old Mario games work. It's the same thing as the different paintings from Galaxy. Or not Galaxy. Oh my god, 64. No, uh, not in the 64. Yeah, that's what I didn't like. It's like you have to keep playing the same thing. I mean, there's a that's lot so... of different secrets and little things to find. These worlds are very well developed, uh, or these areas are very well developed. I could move on to the next area if I wanted to, but I, I kind of want to... Yeah, but you want to get all the sunshine stuff. Yeah, I want to get as much stuff done here, like besides maybe like the secret level. Wait, what do you what do you get out of getting so many of the sh shiny shit? Uh, that's how, like, you have to, you need a certain amount of progress. Like oh, game, yeah, yeah, like, just like 64. Okay, yeah, you okay. Need a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what, that's what's, like, surprising. It's, like, they use that game mechanic a lot. Oh, yeah. Like, in, in the recent ones. It's, like, kind of annoying now. Like, I kind I like Super Mario Bros., like, the new one. Or, like, the recent one. Because it's just solely, like, just the original Mario. Where I don't oh. need to specifically get all that. Missed. That's unfortunate. Oh, this camera. This camera is better than the one in 64, but it doesn't make it good. <laughs> uh, come on, there you go. You know what I love about this game? It's like, um, when you play Shadow, like you're reversing Shadow Mario, his his like um, paintbrush like clips into the into the ground. It's just like phases through. Oh yeah, realism. Ooh, gotta love that. It means it canonically Shadow Mario is not real. Um, interesting answer. Ah, oh, would you get hit by? Oh, oh the man. weird fly shit. Yeah. Another blue coin to sell to my buddy that we haven't introduced yet. I guess I should introduce that character. <laughs> well, who is he? The is he the guy who sells the infinite amount of? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is technically a finite amount of like coins that you can get, so I guess he technically has a certain amount. But like, eh, he's, he's kind of a not nah, nah, He's not a very uh, moral person. He just doesn't uh, care, man. He wants that money. He doesn't care about the environment. <laughs> yeah. He's an you should get water, by the way. You're losing water. I know, but I'm about to get that water. water. Oh, by the way, you know what we should play next after Mario Sunshine is what? Breath of the Wild. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. Which I need to borrow it. I might have to borrow your capture card if, if uh, like, because I kind of want to play it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Let me up. Got him. That's so janky, like, immediately when you get that, you just, like, you jump into a different perspective, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, yeah. I don't know, I feel like, um, Mario games are, like, like, I like them. They're, like, cool to see, because it's, like, well-developed. It's just, my, me, personally, I just don't like it. Ow! No, I mean, this I game know. is kind of a black sheep of the series, so... Okay, how the hell do I get up there? Actually? No, but like I'm just talking about oh. like in general, like because even popular games, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not fully into. Kind of like, like a lot of people really like Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy Two, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't. Like to me, my favorite ones are just the original 2D scrollers because those are just, I, in my own opinion, is more fun for me. Mm -hmm. I know that's a very controversial statement since a lot of people really like, um, like 64. I'm, I've never played 64 except like a little bit, so I, I don't fully know. But I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the, the thing about 64 is people literally just have like nostalgia boners for that game. So like, um, it's really not like the perfect video game that most people say it is. It's not. It's very flawed. Uh, was yeah, it it's just a lot of people like. No, it was great for the time. It was like, it was, it, I, I do consider it one of the most revolutionary games of all time because it was basically mm -hmm. the first 3D video game that like worked really well. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, it was very important, but it was not uh, the greatest game of all time. It's very, it was well developed for the time, but like, I think this is a better video game. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Well, it's, yeah, of course. It's just more developed, right? So like this game, sense. this game has a ridiculous amount of problems, a lot of glitches, a lot of stupid stuff in it. 
but I think that's honestly what gives it more charm. And I know 64 it has like the same kind of crap. Maybe that's just because I grew up that also the frame rate on the Switch is just not like in this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get how the Switch actually struggles to play this game. <laughs> I mean, it's a port. It's not it's supposed to be... Well, I know, right? but, like, <clears throat> this game is 19 years old. And <laughs> I mean, again, we can't, we can't give, like, we can't shit on Switch, because it's the first to be, you know, what it actually is, right? So... I know, I get, right? Yeah, it, it's, it's frustrating, but, I mean, I, I have to give kind of a bit of leeway for them for that. I mean, I can, I can play this game on an emulator on my phone, and has less frame issues. That's yeah, the but, embarrassing thing. Yeah, I guess. I mean, what? Wait, what is your phone? Uh, Galaxy S9. It's old, pretty old. Yeah, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess compared to, I don't know. I guess oh, the Switch is like weird. It's like, it's like not powerful, but it can run decent, like decently large. Uh, games, oh yeah, know? no, it can. It 100% can. It is a very impressive system. Because, but that's the weird thing about it to me is uh, because like a game like this, it's not very big if you think about it. Uh, I forget how many, how how big is like Breath of the Wild? It's it's like triple, it's, it's like, huge. Yeah, like I'm talking about like gigabytes. Like oh, I don't know. Itself. It's, it's, it's like it, it's pretty big. It took a lot. Yeah, it took a lot. It took like I think one fourth of like the base storage of like the of a switch i think if i remember correctly it took up like it takes up like 40 gigabytes i might be wrong it might be 20 but um like but it's a lot yeah we, yeah. we all know it's a lot but so. this game is like 1.2 gigabytes of, of like actual data it, it's it that's what's kind of embarrassing <laughs> mm. One of the reasons why isn't isn't so. isn't the gigabyte not much to do with like graphic wise like is it is it because of graphics um I honestly don't know. Okay, so like, I know that I know that um, like it really depends on your, your the pro, the like actual console because it's like let's say your computer can't like process the actual game itself or like you know or like the game is like processing the world and all that. That's like the CPU kind of processes processes the world and all that. So like once like that's why Minecraft is really like bad for like I think CP, like shitty CPUs. But then, like, uh, for, uh, you know, highly intense uh, graphics, it, it's hard for GPUs to run it. So it's like, I think I think it might be either the graphics or the CPU that's overloaded onto the, um, what's it called? The Switch. I think it's the graphics that might be the issue. Because I know a lot of people who play Breath of the Wild, like, there's an option to play, like, a cinematic graphics or, like, other, you know levels of the graphics on that in, on that game, so I think it's that. Finally. Finally got him, jeez. Well are you killing those fat things? Well yeah, I, mean, I have to because it's, it's I have to. So he's a murderer. Yeah. Dude, I knew it. Mario's like yeah. actually a psycho. Yeah, that's a game theory that's since the old news. <laughs> No, that's no. It, his his theory was that he was a so he was Russian or communist. Well, there was a communist one. I'm pretty sure there was a sociopath one. Really? I yeah, don't know. I, I don't know. It's been it's been a while. Since I haven't that. watched Game Theory in a while. Yeah. Now, okay. The, here comes the part. Uh, I don't remember actually how to beat him in this fight. They were fighting PD Piranha again. Uh, I know we've been talking about. Gotta that love that. Time. Yeah, there's a lot of recycled bosses in this game. It's just not cool, but you know the ones that are here, they're kind of cool, right? Be for honest. Are okay. they just? Is he just stuck? Nah, he's flying. He's a gamer. I like how you're just calling him a gamer. Yeah, he's a gamer. He's just everyone's a gamer. He's a gamer. What are you talking about? Dude, he's an airbender, bro. Yeah, that's airbender. crazy. I told you he's a gamer. That's so cool. He's an airbender. Okay. Man, that guy died. Uh, are you Mario. supposed to do okay. that? No. Oh, damn it. I'm not very good at video games. I I'm trying to get him to... I'm, I can you open your mouth? Oh my god. Open your mouth. <laughs> I, I literally need you to do that to, to proceed. Just, just wait, just wait. Just I, wait. I am. Uh. There you go. Oh, it's doing it now. Hell yeah. 
It's as simple as one, two, three, really. Dude, why would you ever open your mouth? That's so dumb. What an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, dude. Do gay uh, boss canonically yeah. piranha uh P uh what's his name? PD Piranha. Yeah, PD? It's PD? PD. Like PD. PD Piranha. Yeah, so PD Piranha is stupid canonically. Oh I uh, yeah, that was kinda guaranteed. It's in it's in the canon. I'm pretty sure you play like PD the baby version in um what's it in Galaxy in right? Um you fight Dino Piranha? Okay, what is he doing over there? He Jeez. thinks you're over there. This is one of the things. What I didn't hit him. Okay, game. Game stupid. I mean, I'm fine, I'm fine with that because it's less work for me, but okay. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, that's a weird angle for me to be doing that at. Yeah. I like how, like, all these, like, graphics are phasing through each other. It's amazing. No, oh, well, okay, listen. It is the GameCube. And also what's interesting is, like, you yourself, like, Mario is, like, really, like, graphically, it's, like, really well like, designed. Really good, every... yeah. Yeah, and everything else is just not... <laughs> It's just so funny. It feels so out of place. Especially like Petey, like he looks doesn't look right. He looks okay. I think he Yeah, but fine. like compared to Mario, they look so weird. They don't look like they belong in the <laughs> same game. Like you can like you can't disagree oh, with no, me. No, I know, like the actual amount of like polygons is very striking. I will have Yeah, to it looks too. kind of like six, <laughs> it looks like the 64 like bosses and like Mario himself doesn't look like like looks really good, mm -hmm. and like I we I mean it makes sense because like they wanted to focus mostly on you know the protagonist. It makes sense, but I feel like you need to make your bad guy look cool too. Like you can't just go all out with I mean, one guy. To be fair, I think Shadow Mario looks okay, which is uh, yeah. But like he's also Mario, that doesn't count. Oh uh, yeah, they definitely did just use they use the same model and just repainted it, which is fine. I don't have a problem with them doing that because honestly, it becomes a different thing later. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. It's not like you know this game's. I mean, dude, it, so we're already time. like we're years ahead to even consider this to be. Well, for you, you've never played. You don't know what happens. Yeah, I know it's Bowser Jr. Darn. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he is the main, like, protagonist, I mean, not protagonist, antagonist in this game. Like, I know yes, that. Yes, yes, he is. He wants to steal Peach because he thinks she's she's his mom. Wait, how did, oh, so you have played this before. No, I haven't played it. I just know the game story. Except the part where he goes to prison. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about that. <laughs> no, because, like, like, I was, like, really into Mario games, like, when I when I was younger, so like I know like from friends playing it and all that, like what happens in some of these games. Mm -hmm. Like back then, we played a lot of like Galaxy Two. So like, um, my friend had Sunshine, and he was just like, "Yeah, I played Sunshine." And we we're like, "The hell is that?" And he's like, "Yeah, you know, like he my knew dad." What it was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what it was. I was in like freaking elementary school. I didn't know what I was doing. Was it elementary or was it middle school? I don't remember. When was Galaxy come out? Like the second the, one? The second one came out in 2012. So I would say elementary school. Yeah, yeah okay. So then, yeah, because I remember playing elementary school, but I don't want to be wrong about it. So yeah, I played in elementary school and a ton of us played Galaxy. <laughs> but this one kid didn't have Galaxy, so he played, oh, you're, you're dying. I don't know why yeah, you're dying. Yeah, because the but... water is poisonous. That's, that's not cool. Wait, um, what if you just put what? What if you put all the water? Wait, what did I just get? Po oh, okay. <laughs> what if you put all the poisonous water into your th into your jug? Then you can just kill everyone. That's not how it works, <laughs> dude. He's already a bad guy. He should just do it. Are you talking about Mario? Or are you talking about Flood? Or are you talking about both? <laughs> both. <laughs> They're both accomplices to a crime. I guess so. I mean, but didn't but Mario saved the day? He saved those villagers from. I, I think he'd probably get a reduced uh, sentence. I'd hope <laughs> so, right? Because like, 
He did no, some... I like the idea that he's a conv- he's a convict. I like. That. I like that, and I also like the fact that he literally has to do community. His sentence is to do community service. He's yeah. literally cleaning up, tr- well, not trash, but like graffiti, off of public yeah. buildings. It's funny. I think um. They need a better DPW like... on this island. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that that river though, that poisonous river is very. It's kind. Of, it reminds me of you know. It's not the Hudson River, but like I know, yeah, the Hudson River. The Hudson River has actually got like I wanted to talk about re- the real world, like how COVID kind of you know, COVID has given a chance for the nature to regrow in in a sense, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. We're like we're like this weird anomaly. Like we're freaks of nature. Like we just like we don't belong in Earth because like we just kill Earth. Get on the log, get on the log, get on the log, Mario, please. Good thing this isn't Earth, this is the Mushroom- Ow! The Mushroom Kingdom. Mario, please, I just want to jump. I have three health. Wait, you're not getting- you're not getting killed there. Why are you not getting killed there? Oh, because I'm not in the water? I'm on. Oh man, that's so dumb. <laughs> it's part of that's the level. So it's another. Dumb. It's another level. Why does he not just strap it onto him? Like, does he not know? Well, because water hurts him. Wait, what do you mean? Well, no, no, like, no. I mean, like, why didn't he just like? Oh, he strap... does. I get. I don't know actually. Because no, there's no. There's that's literally a, a thing. Like... Mario is canonically dumb because he doesn't. Like, if that happened once, he should be like, yeah, maybe I should be careful when I do this again. No, he's not. The, he's not the brightest tool in the shed, or the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh yeah, reference. You're ruining the the sexy version of the Super Mario theme. <laughs> I know you can't hear it, but if you look it up, look up like Super Mario Sunshine secret level. Uh, music or something. Wait, this is a secret level? They're technically called secret levels, or for some reason, I don't. They're not secrets. They're literally part of the game. <laughs> but like, wait, what are those ladder thingies there? Are those railroad railroads? tracks? Yeah, I think they are. It's based off of. Uh, I believe this because this is the inspiration for like Toy Time Galaxy. If you remember that from Galaxy, where there's the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But why? I don't know. It's 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 weird. There's also like railroad signals. You can't really see them, but like those lines or is it like like i get like it's kid themed so i'm i'm assuming that's what they gone for like because you know kids like trains yeah uh... oh that's nice that's that's some key that's some epitome of falling. gaming right there <laughs> i love this game <laughs> good thing i got that one up anyway you're saying <laughs> no i was saying like i think i think like i know like it's weird to have trains and like blocks just in middle of space but i think i think it's like kind of the inspiration is cool. like you know kid it's kid themed right it's like kids like trains and kids like blocks therefore ooga booga space oh. space block train level genius come on it's a very weird game to be 100 oh, no, this honest. game is very weird very like, the, like, weird. This, like, like, why does Galaxy and like, and this game have toy blocks in, in the thingy in in the in space? Well, okay. Confusion. The the thing about Galaxy is that their excuse is that oh, it's in space, so like anything's possible. This game has no excuse. How? Why? Why am? Why and how am I here? I literally went into a cave and now I am in space, or I'm in in some like pocket dimension. I think those caves. The caves lead to a pocket dimension. It's canonically there are canonical holes in space and time where you can travel to wherever you want in Mario. The Mario Canon is very complicated. So are these. Dude, blocks. that's actually yeah, dude. Mario Canon where you can skip worlds is epic. I don't like I'm that. very hypnotized by the red and blue tiles. <laughs> well, you very see, interesting. Yeah, they're they're really they're moving, they're gaming actually, you could say. 
I like how we're just gonna use this this joke, at, uh, uh, like of uh, the term gaming. Well, they are. Lot. I mean, look at them. Look at the way they're flipping. Have you seen something flip like that before? I haven't. Dude, uh, dude, that's crazy. You're right, dude. I'm 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 the idiot here. Oh, I almost fell. Why is there a palm tree there? Yes, Why? Yes, Why did... because we're still. They on... it... it got transferred with the pocket. The it's just it's from the island, but you know. I it, no, it's canonically a teleporting tree. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. Are you getting a headache from this game? No, I I, I like playing this game. <laughs> I don't know. I can't play Mario games without getting massive headaches. So can I for like you know normal like first person games? Right. Well, I think I don't uh, know. It's been twenty five minutes, so I think we're gonna end it right there, and we're gonna pick it up. Hell yeah! I'm gonna pick it up. Gaming month. <laughs> Gaming week. And We're gonna make that. PewDiePie references all the time, but okay, yeah. With that, uh, I think that's about it. Any final words? Yeah, um, watch Minecraft episode 3. It's so epic. And see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then.